item potence. There's no real way to make that sound exciting. This is a quick hits video on item potency of cows and REST APIs. So what is item potence? Well, Wikipedia says, item potence is the property of certain operations in mathematics and computer science that can be applied multiple times without changing the result beyond the initial application. What? That's what I hear you saying, anyway. So let's try something else. Let's say you have a cow. And one cow is great, but having another cow along with that would be fantastic. So you hire a sire service to impregnate your cow for a certain fee. So question. After you guarantee that your cow is now pregnant, should you hire another sire and re-impregnate the cow? Can your cow get more pregnant? Hmm. Based on my research, I don't think so. So, if getting the cow pregnant is item potent, what about my REST API? Well, let's say, for instance, we are working on a user's collection. An HTTP GET on the user's route with user ID 12345 is actually item potent. Every time we call that user's 12345 route, we're going to get back the same data. So we can read that guy multiple times and get the same result, assuming someone else doesn't change it behind the scenes. As a sidebar, the HTTP spec calls the get method safe, which means it should never be used to alter data. Okay, what about the put HTTP method? Well, put slash users slash 12345, that should be input in item potent also. Here's the deal. If you send the same data in every time with your put as an update, then we should have the same end result. Okay, delete gets a little weird. The HTTP spec says that delete is item potent. However, those of us in the REST API space often fudge here a little bit because unless we're marking resources for deletion, it's difficult to make delete item potent because if we actually delete the resource, the next time through, the resource isn't going to be found to re-delete it. So oftentimes a delete is not actually item potent. A delete a second time can actually return a 404 or not found if you're actually deleting your resources behind the scenes, say a, a, a user from a database. At this time we find that is an appropriate compromise. Post to the slash users collection, notice there's no ID there, is not item potent because every time we make a post to the slash users collection or the slash users route creates a new user in this context. So we end up with a different end result. So post is not item potent. And post is recommended for non item potent resource requests. So there you have it, item potency.